If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -Ray. Welcome back to another Modern Warfare Leaks video. So today we're going to be talking about quite a bit. We're going to be talking about kill streaks, score streaks, specialists returning. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff in this video. So hopefully you guys do go on to enjoy the video. If you do, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on the video. It's super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And obviously, if you are new around here, if you want to see more videos like these, I'm going to have a ton more Modern Warfare news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you subscribe to have those notifications on. I'd say about 60% of my viewers currently are not subbed up. So if you want to see the videos in the future, make sure you subscribe and have those notifications on. So let's talk about this. Now, this information is coming from the Gaming Revolution. And now, if you guys don't know who he is, I have been covering him uh, these past few weeks, but he's a pretty legit guy when it comes to leaks. Has leaked a ton of stuff for Black Ops 3, for Black Ops 4, for Call of Duty World War 2. Uh, I think he was most known for a ton of stuff being leaked during Black Ops 3 for zombies. Like, he got a ton right when it came to that. Like, being able to ride a dragon in Gora Krovi. Like, this guy has a very legit track record. And in fact, one of the sources he had in the past is someone who actually came out and became kind of like their own thing they weren't like third party giving info to him anymore and that was the woo lad so the woo lads were actually a source for the gaming revolution for a little while before they decided to kind of make their own account and really start doing teases and stuff here and there i love the woo lads so uh they're one of their sources or were one of his sources and he recently actually got info from other sources he's been cross-referencing making sure that this source of his is legit and actually a lot of the leaks that he has kind of released have come true he said the aug was going to be an smg we saw that recently uh, in the reveal kind of you know gunfight mode reveal where they had like two v2s you could see the aug was an smg he talked about weapons that actually are going to be convertible from for instance ar to smg and today we actually got our first look at the gun bench or the gun shop or gunsmith if you want to call it that and uh, it showed that you can actually show different versions of a weapon. You can make it super short barrel. I think I tweeted out saying that, you know, yo, does this mean like they were showcasing that you can make an SMG? Kind of like what the leaks were saying from TGR. And a lot of people are saying, no, that it's just a short barrel and maybe you can run around faster and maneuver easier. And it might just be that. But uh, let's talk about these leaks. But again, this guy, TGR, is super legit. I'll link him down below for you guys who want to check him out. Let's talk about his leaks because he has covered a lot. And in case you guys missed it, I do have a full playlist talking about news and stuff for Modern Warfare, including more leaks. Check out that link down below if you guys want to see stuff about Battle Royale, about multiplayer, about Spec Ops, and a ton more. So in case you missed those, link down below. All right, so let's talk about this info. So right now, when it comes to kill streaks or score streaks, what are they? And it looks like currently at this build that they have right now, this early build, that they're going to be showing off for the multiplayer reveal on August 1st. It looks like they are kill streaks. So you're going to be able to get your streak rewards via kills. So if you know get 10 kills, you get them. It's not based off score. To some people, this is good because I feel like they just enjoy getting it from kills as opposed to score streaks. For other people, they like score streaks more because it, it, it incentivizes people to go capture flags, be a little more objective so they get their streaks faster. But Again, like I said, it looks like at the moment, the current build of Modern Warfare seems to have kill streaks. Now, there is actually going to be a way to get or convert them into score streaks, and that's going to be with the Pointsman perk. Now, this will change those kill streaks into score streaks. Now, do keep in mind, though, that if you do that, it's actually going to cost you more points as a score streak. So, for instance, uh, the example that TGR gave was that Juggernaut is. 15 kills if you if you have it as a kill streak but then if you have it as a score streak it's actually 2500 points so it's going to cost you more to get it but it's probably going to be a little bit easier or about equivalent if you're someone who likes to play the objective so if you're someone who maybe you're worried about getting all those 15 kills maybe you like actually just shooting down stuff capturing flags you know uh being defensive or you know being objective then this might be a, a better choice for you but that isn't the only thing it looks like apart from kill streaks slash score streaks there are going to be specialists coming to call of duty modern warfare and uh this specifically is going to be specialist streaks it's not specialists like black ops 3 and black ops 4 or you know i don't even know what they were called an infinite warfare i forgot what they were actually called but uh this is going to be straight up specialist streaks from 
Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So basically it was where after a certain amount of kills, I think it was like two, four, eight, something like that. Uh, after a certain amount of kills, you would actually get extra perks that you could use and run around and essentially, I think it was after you got like 20 kills or something or 10 kills or something like that, you would have every single perk on. And you could select which uh, specialist streaks you got. So you could have a certain number or a certain order. Uh, it was pretty cool. So that meant that you could have a ton of streaks. And if you really got maxed out, got a ton of kills, you uh, basically unlocked every perk in the game. And you can use every perk all at once, which is insane. So it does look like specialist streaks are back. That I think is going to be... A really good thing for people who go for nukes and it looks like it was confirmed or I should say leaked by TGR that the nuke is coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare now whether it turns out to be the game ending nuke or just like a Moab that kills everyone and then you continue to play I don't know he says that at the moment there is still a game ending nuke in the game but that might be removed they might just be something they're testing out so we'll definitely see about that but Again, score streaks, the specialist streaks are going to go a long way for a lot of people who just like to focus on that, which I think is pretty cool. So the other thing he mentioned was that there was going to be those weapon conversions that we talked about. Uh, and again, I talked about how he said the AUG was going to be an SMG in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. We saw that was confirmed in that live stream where the AUG was just shooting insane amount of bullets. Like I think uh, when they, they saw it, in game they're like oh cool we have an assault rifle but no it does look like it is an smg now in i believe black ops one it was an assault rifle i think for the, the majority of the call of duties that have had the aug or the auger it has been a, a ar so it is interesting uh that now it is an smg but don't worry if you're someone who preferred the ar it's actually going to be able to turn into an assault rifle with some attachment. So I think that's pretty cool. That means we're going to have a ton more uh, ability to uh, to have different like weapons and stuff, try different stuff out. And I think they e even recently mentioned that uh, there's a certain gun in the game that can be turned into a honey badger. So if you like the honey badger from Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, it looks like that guy could be coming back as a variant that you make yourself with attachments. So I think that's actually pretty cool, but it looks like Honey Badger could be crafted uh, in the gun bench. And then on top of that, the other one was the AK-47 can also be turned into an SMG, which I would assume is where you remove the stock and uh, essentially you're running around with an AK-74U. So I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but again, there's certain attachments you can put on weapons that turns them into other ones. So it could be something like an AR turning into a S, uh, into an SMG or an AR turning into a sniper rifle. So I think that's pretty cool. And again, I like I said, I think it opens up different avenues to where you can try out different setups and try weapons as a different category, maybe. Uh, it'll just add it so there's a lot more replayability and just experimenting. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about. So Bounty Hunter, which is a perk that was in call of duty modern warfare we talked about this before we said what it was which is basically if you went and you killed someone who was on a three kill streak or more they would have an icon above them that says that they were on a streak and if you killed them they would actually add whatever kill streak they were on to yours as a bonus so if they were on a five kill streak and you killed them then you would have a five kill streak of yours even though you killed one guy so that's actually pretty cool but a lot of people were upset obviously because if there's people trying to go for nukes then chances are there's going to be a lot of people trying to kill them. They see the icon, they're going to focus on them, and it'll make it harder for people to try to get these nukes. So people are complaining about this, and it looks like maybe Infinity Ward saw this, or maybe they had already planned to nerf it or remove it. But it does look like at the moment with an update on this bounty hunter it's actually not in modern warfare it was actually taken out of the game now it looks like at the moment they're kind of making it nerfed like they're nerfing it balancing it out a little more and then maybe it'll come back into the game but for you guys that maybe were freaking out about the bounty hunter perk don't worry it looks like at the moment it's not in the game and if it does come back it'll probably be a very nerfed version of it i prefer if it's not in the game just because i feel like it's going to ruin it for a lot of people who maybe wanted to get nukes so we'll see let me know what you guys think about that i'll put a poll do you guys want the bounty hunter perk in the game or not go ahead and vote on there all right so the next thing you mentioned was actually that kill streaks will have camos now they're going to be you know normal camos nothing crazy nothing bright nothing animated uh, i think we kind of had this before in uh, infinite warfare where you could have variants of your score streaks and there was like you know the uh, the orange versions and the purple ones and and i think they had their own little camo on them i don't know if that necessarily was if i'm remembering that correctly but it does look like in this game there is going to be 
a uh, system where you're able to put camos, basic camos, nothing crazy or flashy. You're not going to have diamond, gold, etc. on your kill streaks, but it does look like you will have some sort of ability to customize them, which I think is pretty cool. The next thing, they're actually planning on bringing a crossbow to the game after launch, so we might be seeing that later on as a DLC weapon, maybe for one of these contraband streams or one of these battle passes as they're being known because of Fortnite, but it does look like that's coming on later today or later on. The next thing they said was actually that Tessa Thompson is planned to be a new operator in the future, so this is kind of gonna be a big one you know this will kind of make or break the uh the leaks here if we end up seeing that in the future and promotional stuff but tessa thompson is a very popular like actor right now she's very well known i think especially for the whole guardians of the galaxy thing or i should say uh, thor ragnarok i think so it does look like she's gonna be an operator which i think is pretty cool so we'll definitely see about that and for you guys that are wondering what the hell operators are they're essentially the characters that you play as in modern warfare they don't have any specialist abilities or unique features in multiplayer but apparently in spec ops they do have their own unique stuff like kind of like rainbow six operators where they each have their own unique thing so we might be seeing that only in the spec ops and it might just be a skin you can use in multiplayer so either way pretty cool this is a huge one. So this was actually leaked as well. It looks like you are going to be able to edit your class in game to a certain extent. You're going to be able to go into the gunsmith and you're going to be able to change up the stuff in game. So you're going to be able to change out attachments and also perks. Now, I don't know how people are going to feel about this because just imagine you're in a lobby. You got really good and you got a ton of streaks, right? And then suddenly everyone starts putting on cold-blooded or something to hide from the uavs and hide from your kill streaks that would be super annoying so the fact that they are able to do that in game might be annoying i personally feel like that's something we've been waiting a long time for if i was them i would keep it at where you're able to change attachments and not necessarily perks because then it kind of takes away from the experience in my opinion where there is kind of luck based in there if you find a lobby full of people who are not running ghosts then your uav is going to do work and if you run into a lobby that everyone is using it, then it's kind of useless and it kind of is a little give and take. So the fact that they would be able to change perks out and be like, oh, this guy is getting a ton of UAVs. I'm going to run ghost now mid game might be a little bit triggering for some people. Let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comments section below. All right. So the final thing we're going to be talking about in this video, guys, is the camos. It looks like at the moment in the build for Modern Warfare, there is no special secret camo. There is no gold, no diamond, no dark matter, no solar, you know, nothing like that it looks to be in the game at the moment. Now, I don't know if this is going to be a thing permanently. Again, they are trying to go for more realistic. They were actually scanning a ton of camos and applying them onto their weapons with their new technology that like photographs everything. So we might be seeing more normal toned down, uh, you know, camos for weapons. And then later on in the life cycle, kind of like with Call of Duty World War II, we'll see maybe more flashier animated stuff. But it looks like they're going for something more basic. Now, whether they do still have gold or diamond, etc., I don't know. It's currently not in the game, like I said, or in the build that they're working on. But it might be coming in the future. They still have a ton of months to work on it and they can still put it into the final build. But let me know how you guys would feel if the game did launch with no special camo that you can unlock via challenges anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did drop a like on the video guys it's super appreciated and incredibly helpful and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more videos like these i'm gonna have a ton more call of duty modern warfare news info rumors leaks and more coming so make sure you guys are subscribed and have those notifications on so you don't miss a single upload if you guys want to support the channel directly you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships you get access to early content, exclusive videos, special badges, and more. So go ahead and check that out only if you are willing and able to. And last but not least, if you guys want to talk about anything, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. I'm constantly talking over there, so go ahead and give me a follow at OGXrays. I'll have a link down in the description below. You guys have an amazing day. Take care. I'm out. Peace.